end. Yes. So it will be just a brief thing here. So, and then we'll be popping over to Warframe. So we will be on Warframe in just a little bit. Appreciate if you guys are able to hang out on this. Uh, it'll be just a moment here while we're getting this thing all together. Let me switch directory and all that. I apologize to you guys when Twyla gets here and everything like that. I promise we'll make it up to you guys as well. Yes. Uh, Dark, you want to pick it for us today? How about that? You want to pick what we're actually talking about and everything like that? But just know that I was having a ton of fun playing uh, Bioshock Infinite. So it has absolutely nothing to do with that. I appreciate the lurk from you guys. We'll be on game in a little bit here. But need to actually... Pop this thing over right now. Okay. So, no way. What, you're not a documentary fan? Where is she? Uh, lacking sleep. So she is going to be just a little while there. You're a gamer. All right, let's see if we can find something about games. All right. Uh, let's go entrepreneurship. Let's see what we got. Work of the future. Actually, let's check their search options. So that's one of the things is we go over all the categories they have. They have over 2,500 documentaries for you to choose from. Uh, gaming. Oh, hold on gaming let's see battlefield or a thrones let's see let's make it game related uh esports oh we don't have anything about esports and what's going on whales do you really want to watch something about whales violent I know you said that a couple times. All right, fine. We're going to watch something about whales. You get to pick it. Whale wisdom, school for whales, ocean stories, Great Barrier Reef, oh, penguins, whale wisdom. All right, whale wisdom it is. We can barely imagine a whale's life let alone what's in their mind. One man is ready to All try. the above at the same time? I could probably position the screens to make that it's happen, a too. journey into the deepest thinking. Help on Warframe, you eventually switch to it. If you're doing PC when you get in. Uh, yeah, we can help you on PC. What are you trying to do on PC? And capacity for emotion. There's ingenuity. And just as a reminder, guys, appreciate you guys being here Risk. while we're doing sponsored stuff and everything and like that, because uh, this is how we keep it low pressure. We, we don't tenderness and curiosity. run a whole lot of sub we things and everything like that. Families. So this is uh, what we pick up and thought this Five would be something fun for you guys. And music. Friends for Jackal. Oh, you're talking like early, early in the game. I thought you had made it a little further than that. All right, yeah, that's fine. We can speed run Jackal when I get over there. What emerges? Desert Eagle, what's going on? We're watching some stuff about unexpected. whales right now. This promises to be a whale of a tail. That's beautiful right there. Alaska calls humpback whales from the warm Pacific to feed together in its rich, deep waters. Filmmaker and marine biologist Rick Rosenthal's journey into the whale mind begins here. That looks amazing, except for I know that water is super cold. I would want to swim in something like that. a particular humpback that's defying all expectation. 
That's the logic. What's going on? He finds his whale alone. Oh, it works. Oh, wow. Shore. Every April, she comes to this one bay. Oh, the meetup was fun. If you guys are familiar with uh, Here she is. Chicago, it off. was at the... Why can't I remember the name of it? One of the historic places they hold a bunch of uh, venues well, at for bands well, and everything well. like that. Whiskey, what's going on? Thank you for that raid. We'll talk very soon I'm once Twyla's up. I'd love to chat with you a little bit. What's she thinking? Guys, we're watching a uh, documentary about whales for a little bit. Animals often act on instinct. Timed it off. We're going to be doing this for just a little while longer as well. This is for Curiosity Stream. Anyone that is into documentaries as well. You guys can get 30 days free trial. This way oh, awesome. Has a Dark, thank you so much for that. For having a mind of and own. there's over 2,500 documentaries on there. We're doing something super chill as well here for just a little while. Love whales. Are you guys all on the he whale kick? In his stealth kayak. No, they're not all about whales. There's all different categories. Who's the narrator? Oh, they showed it right at the beginning. Here, let's see. Who is the narrator for this one? She ignores Rick. Uh, it doesn't say it at the beginning of it. I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up. I She's like this video already. Humpbacks trap a school of fish by blowing. But yes, guys. If you're not following Whiskey Cat as well, please do. Another couple stream there. Whiskey and Gwid are amazing. And Whiskey has a very angelic voice. You have to listen to her sing. Rick puts on his dive gear. Yeah, Dark, we'll help you in a little in bit. World. But yeah, you can see the different categories. Like this category was just a little bit about it in here. I've never hidden in uh, Nelson, thank you for that follow. Film a whale. But this might be my chance to see what she's actually doing in the shallow water. And yeah, that is Underwater. one thing. We do a bit of variety. We also try to bring you guys stuff outside of the normal gaming realm as well. So, yes, we do do the gaming awards, but even after the drops and everything, we still watch the whole gaming awards. That she doesn't want to share. Bite-sized baby salmon. Humpbacks are not salmon eaters. She's alone. Not afraid of people and trying new tastes. Yeah, that's crazy that that whale is coming that close to land. I've never really seen that. This humpback is up to something. Her secret is just around the headland. There are tens of millions of juvenile salmon in the Hidden Falls Salmon Hatchery. She times her journey this was the Bureau Chosen one. Oh, She's here, we can actually... She's thousands of kilometers, yet each year she arrives just before the salmon release begins. And they also have, as well, uh, a bunch of BBC documentaries. I can't show you those because of licensing reasons or anything like that, but... If you guys are into the BBC stuff. Her scars show she's Check that out as well. Close encounters with cables and boats. Baby salmon are reared in closed nets suspended from pontoons anchored in the bay. As the young smolts grow, some escape and feed a few locals. I also did not know that otters were that far north. The salmon still in the nets are now ready for life at sea. The side nets are dropped, and two million fish swim out of the I was going to say, that's a lot of fish. Okay, they're letting the salmon run. What do you guys think so far? You guys said you wanted to watch uh, whales here. Yeah, this guy's voice is way better than the last one that we watched. Yes, that'd be scary as hell. The hatchery has varied the time of the first release. 
but she has always arrived ahead of them. This year, they tow some of the pens out of the bay, away from the greedy eyes of the whale. Oh, so the whale's been waiting by the salmon hatchery so they can't get the salmon to go out because it's just eating the all of the salmon. The are intended to augment the wild stocks, which have been declining. Their plan underestimates the whale. She has silently followed the pen. Is that who it is? What's his full name, Beerman? Because I know I've heard documentaries from him before. There's little the team can do. It's illegal to harass or harm a whale. The fact that a huge yeah, there you go. You guys were asking earlier. That's here, who it is, right there. No consolation for John Pierce, the manager of the hatchery. Livelihoods are at stake. It's a battle of wits. Whale versus man. Oh, really, Counter? That's awesome. Yeah, he has a super soothing voice, and they picked awesome music for the background. Investigating whale ingenuity takes Rick to Arctic Norway. Yeah, if you guys want to. Uh, lights are some of the richest seas on Earth. 30 days of some of the Here, most chill documentary sounds ever. Between long nights. I could watch this just for the scenery in the background and everything. Rick and Captain Andreas Haider are looking Not for the hat he's wearing, though. Or orcas. I got to agree with you on that. Whales feed on the huge shoals of herring that overwinter. Yeah, but salmon are finicky waters. about their uh, a family pod the salmon runs the and their breeding their time, so they have to put them out during those. Whistles and pulsed calls. I forget which one it is. I, I think it's the coho, not the king, but the coho salmon is like super finicky. The calls can be heard from far away and help keep the family together. I only know that because in Michigan they tried to get rid of some of the invasive Once species by dropping herring, salmon into the, the Great Lakes as well. Them into the so we have freshwater salmon. -pitched sound. The fish crowd together. The family uses this to their advantage. It looks chaotic, but it's a coordinated attack. Hey, that's not the same voice. The herring are in panic mode, and dozens of whales are now sharing the feast. The whales now fire an intense, short-range sound that jams the herring's nervous system, stunning them. So they're doing shortwave the sounds to stun the fish. They pick off disabled herrings one by one. They're so successful. Yeah, exactly, they can Connor. Afford to be fussy. Only the tender middle part of the body is eaten. There'd be so much waste byproduct because they're such messy such eaters. Sophistication. On the other side of the world, Rick finds killer whale ingenuity under very different circumstances. Oh, that's why it sounds so familiar. They've got very similar voices. For food. Prey is spread out and difficult to come by. Wait. This ragged band of not recently, but I have seen stuff like that. and parasites to prove that it's tough here. These killer whales work undercover, 
silently. I think it's crazy Pray looking up close at him, like all the beat up scars and everything on him. Oh, really? Possible food appears from below. Whiptail stingrays are armed and dangerous. Stingrays sometimes are coming right towards me. I don't want that on my chest. I'm pushing them away. I okay, that was funny. Just. I don't know why I found that so funny, just pushing that stingray away. That whiptail stingray has quite a spine, and it's venomous. If they get that in their tongue or their mouth, there's going to be some serious pain there. Yeah, exactly, Counter. The whales must have I gotta say, I, it's pretty cool though that the Irwin family set up their uh, funds spine. and they still do they that stuff. Time to consider. It's like that's a phenomenal food, family. But dangerous. Thing looks pissed. Come on, take down, take down the orca. I want to see it. Oh yeah, violent, exactly. The right, whales counter. are working out how to deal with the stingray. They oh, softly oh, chirp yeah. to each other in whispers. Yeah, even the word choices he uses. They work quietly. The lead female would come in to check it out then pull back to let the other one smash it with its tail. Oh! Now that's something I've never seen. An orca keep its pimp hands strong. Okay, that's amazing. So the female plays bait while they come up and just put the smack on it. That really looks like they're passing on that information that knowledge, how to stun the stingray and take it as food. You don't want to get between the orca's tail and the stingray or you're busted up. Have you guys ever seen that before? That This is new to me. The family tries the technique in turn. whale takes her ray to share with the rest of the pod. Dang. This is not instinct. It's creative. Whales can see a problem and think of a solution. Yeah. A humpback in Alaska is a lone inventor, an original. She's waiting for the next batch of salmon to Killing be released. Oh, really? She's daring to push the limits, swimming confidently around the nets and boats Barkley, while she I, waits. I don't know how I've never seen that. Like, I used to fall asleep to stuff the like this all the time. staff are planning their next move, too. Plotting to outwit the silent leviathan lurking below. The manager has chartered a commercial fishing boat. The little salmon are sucked up through a specially designed pipe. Two million fish will fit in a live well on the boat. It's incredible that oh, one yeah, whale counter. is pressuring them to go through I'll tell you what. This. Like, documentaries are amazing, just chilling back. There's no way for the humpback to sense what's inside the pipe or the boat. 
Oh, really? Jumping, I think whiskey popped up. She's been talking to us in uh, Discord a bit. For a release point far offshore. You guys are stuck with us till Makari no comes out. He'll be on in uh It's a win. I think probably about four hours, I'm guessing. Or so it seems. A proportion of the salmon returns to the bay. Our humpback whale patrols the shoreline and soon finds them. Oh, he found the fish. I was gonna guess, but I just saw him having fun with them right there. Dozens of pens remain. Removing the rest of the fish will take too long. I don't know if you notice, like, humpback whales are like big children. They like, just play all day, it looks like. There's a new plan. Oh, Instead of exactly, the on all four sides, they drop only one side of the enclosure. The salmon swim out, but can dart back into the pen in case of danger. Yes. Our whale wants more than just a few Raiders coming in. I'm Vortical Sign 75. She uh, wants them all. Warframe partner as well. We hang out in the dark directory quite a bit. She We're swims below the just doing a bit of sponsored time here. The the Hanging out, showing you guys some documentaries. If you guys would like to, you can get 30 day free trial to check out the site with over 2,500 documentaries on it. In a brilliant attempt to flush the go. fish out. She understands you know, fall asleep the to the, yeah, it's about that hurt. time for you, isn't it? Rick is hoping to see the whale swim. Yeah, we were playing a bit net. of Bioshock Infinite as well, just prior. So we'll probably continue on Bioshock Infinite in the morning, but the and then we'll so be. Dark back it's on Warframe. We'll be swapping to Warframe in a little bit as well today. First thing we'll be doing is helping Dark because he just started out on PC. Heracross, what's going on? We're watching stuff about whales and they're stealing all the uh, salmon from the salmon farm right now. Yeah, our schedule was a little messed up as well because we just got back from Chicago. No one left at 10 a.m. yesterday, got next. back at 7 a.m. Slept for three hours. That's a whale right by him. <laughs> and thank you for that follow. She slipped unnoticed into the pen. Yeah, Stalker, how you been? Not a ripple, not a sound. We haven't seen you in about a month or so. meters of whale in a 12 by 8 meter pen Ultras. that's a giant I, whale in a little swimming can you pool. do that at such a capacity that it would actually bug something that big though she hasn't got in by chance i wonder She's if they'd get bothered by it. to maneuver through the small opening again and again wow just stealing all the In fish. This game of strategy, a wild whale sound. Then why not do low frequency features. sound? Like one they were testing for a while where they drill down deep and do just brain. super low frequency sound. Because they've noticed that fish and animals tend to stay away from that stuff. A midlife crisis. Hey, that's understandable. Most whales appear briefly. Yeah, ultrasound might hurt them, but low frequency. Uh, radio waves probably wouldn't. Their world. The Azores are fringed by canyons running deep underwater. There, over a kilometer below. Yeah, stalker, you better now. Sperm whales and giants. Be back hanging out a bit. Listens with his hydrophone to the Morse code of clicks and calls of the sperm whales far below him. That part of the net is dropping. Yeah, pretty much. I can hear him. The whales are clicking away. 
They could have also set it up to where it was one of those circular things that's kind of cone-shaped where the fish can only come out uh, in small portions. So instead of it being a whole pack of fish, it'd just be a couple at a time. They're moving off down the underwater canyon. Oh, I can hear that oh, they're getting wow. further away. Stalker, I'm sorry to hear that. Rick needs to get back to the support vessel fast. He can't afford to lose them. Once you're at the surface, I'm sorry, the ocean scares contact. me. There is no way you would find me on a little out of sight. inflatable life raft, basically, with a line dropped in the water, knowing what's underneath that water. Darkness. Coming up from below, how different the world of light and air must seem. They'd been holding their breath for about an hour. They need to recover. I didn't know they were showing beluga whales as well. To approach the whales quietly. Pedals drive fins. Like that like my yeah, exactly. The same way that fish swim. Like, I don't care lakes or anything. I don't even care if there's like northern pike with teeth in it and stuff. Because they're just going to do a little damage if they bite you. They might bite a digit or something. But no, you're good. Yeah, if I'm on a boat that... Nothing in the ocean this could potentially eat. Pod. I'm fine with that. But if I'm in a little artists, life raft, the females are in charge. No. Grandmothers are those sperm whales? Oh, okay. Years of wisdom. I thought belugas were the ones with the see, like, but they zap me uh, as well squared off somewhere. snout like that. They're making a sound picture of me. Azores, whaling was banned. The way they the swim, they look like they should have arms. The older generation of sperm whales are veterans from that war. Oh, they are sperm whales, okay. Now, Shadow, thank you for that, Lurk. 30 years of protection, trust perhaps is starting to return. It's not well, yeah, like, like I, I probably wouldn't whale, swim where there's the alligator ships. gar. Like, these are really tender. I'll draw the line right there. Animals. Alligator itself? Nope. A female glides along on her back. The family caresses belly to belly. It's not courtship or mating. It's more like hugging, but without arms. As they rub together, the ones that, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Removing dead skin. It must I don't know why I was thinking they were the gray ones. Anything solid to scratch on. We're going to fast forward a bit in lieu of uh, this is a, a young 50 minute and we have limited time here. He appears to Let's see, where do we want to go to? I want to see something good here. Those hug all the yeah. They roll on the bottom. They look wrinkly. Yeah, they kind of do. Now, what kind of whale is this? When the surf comes up, they head out to the break and catch some waves. Did the music change? Like they're surfing? Even for whales, surfing can take some practice. You need just the right wave if you weigh 30 tons. There's a sideways move that doesn't always work well. Upside Trying a sideways move. One was upside way. down. So they're riding the surf back up. 30 ton whale. Lift your tail. Oh, that's and awesome. Nail it. See, the thing is, like, I'd probably go underwater in one of those cages as well. I'd be fine with that. 
because they I know it's be somewhat fun. protected They're and I can't really buy through the steel, that's fine. But in an inflatable After life raft, no. Ride, they turn and head back out to the surf break. Yeah, like that boat. If I see something that's larger than the boat, that's a nope for me. This is just a magic moment. The female whales could be watching from a discreet distance, admiring the best surfer. They could be choosing a partner, but they're not. They are far away at the other end of Magdalena Bay. There, they approach small boats and solicit human attention. They even bring their newborns along. This is a wild mother approaching people. There's no obvious benefit. Scientists have different theories as to why grey whales here seek human attention. The whales' curiosity and tactile affection may be a clue to what they think and feel. Like the sperm whales, they seem to enjoy being touched. One moment. I've watched these interactions for a number of years. But it still amazes me how the whales are so trusting. This was first seen in the 1970s, and slowly more individual mothers took up the idea. For the tourists on the boat, it's a wonderful fleeting moment of direct contact between human and whale. Well, okay, I mainly mean like orcas or something like that, not these... No, 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 not the ones that feed on, like, krill and things like that. That'd be amazing just to see them and have them come up near it. I'm just saying, though, they get mad. The they just, like, bump draft the boat. In circles they can capsize a boat just bumping into the South it. Pacific. The courting gang of humpback males is practicing their new tactic. The gang has become a choir. I think most of this is Alaska, isn't it? Our frustrated suitor has joined three other males on the reef to sing. Right. Silence, that's exactly what I mean. They've decided it's better to work together. Hauser works with other scientists throughout the South Pacific to record Dolphins, yeah. whale songs. I didn't know belugas were as well. I knew the orcas songs were. Are some of the most complex in the animal kingdom. They to live in Alaska. Yeah, they do. Patterns of calls make up phrases. The whales. Yeah, you get something like ten thousand a year like or something like that. I believe on average. A song. <laughs> Concert can last for hours. Oh, this is right below us. West coast of Canada, yeah. Man takes Rick to an area over the well, That's where they were saying is just south of Alaska, because they were in Alaska to start, where they were watching the. <coughs> I think it was the humpback whale as well we were watching in the beginning. And then there was the uh, orcas we were watching just south of it. <laughs> the songs are part of courtship. Yet scientists also believe that there is data here of oil about their They're a little bit on the creepy side the at times. To the tropics. <coughs> the song is so intense. Right, JFK. I can feel my entire body tingle from the vibrations. <laughs> the 
the whales often sing the same song. Dark, are you still here? Ready for some uh, help on but PC Warframe? Or two, a new song reaches the island. Actually, if we have anyone that wants to help him out with some jackal kills, he just came over from PS4 to PC. He needs to get his rhino pieces. Right together. There are two songs going on. If anyone's available. Or I make it over there. Yeah. See if we can get on top of them again. Okay. Let's go. And I know just like last time our sponsored time is up for doing this, but I still wanna It seems are dedicated followers of fashion. What is extraordinary? is that the song is communal and personal. Oh, it yeah. It contains information and emotion. It reveals something of their inner world. I think I know the one you're talking about. There are clues into the whale mind. Where they talk about, like, the Vikings coming over and they realized that it was potentially look. manatees, and then they were talking about whales a little bit as well. After filming whales in many oceans... Oh, the Megalodon, yeah. I yep. come away with a feeling that all Yeah, but it started off like talking about Vikings, didn't it? A lot more like and how they came over and found manatees. Before. They have families. They play. They're curious. They can learn. They pass this knowledge on. They have a deep wisdom. Each insight, though, raises many more questions. The truth is, we've only just touched the surface. Well, he picks up, we do a cutscene. Oh, see, there you go. All right, so guys, one more time before we uh, close it out here. Awesome, what'd you guys think of that? I thought that was pretty amazing. Dr. Wales yet? Yeah. So yes, last chance here while we're still finishing this off. You've got about five minutes because this thing actually ends in about five minutes. Because uh, we've had it for about two weeks now of you guys potentially being able to, if you'd like. Did I spell it wrong? Yes, I did. I can't spell. Let's try again. There it is. You can get 30 day free trial if you'd like to watch any documentaries. Again, here's the uh, stuff here. I've been more into the science side of it. Like we watched a genetics one That's the first good. time. There's a bunch of things about medicine. Whales, that's it. There's kids stuff as well. If you have kids, you get free 30 days. Check out some documentaries for kids. <coughs> but I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna stand up. <clears throat> I'm going to put some ice cubes in my drink because it's gross right now and warm. And Destination Moon, we did a space and food one as well. And this is it. I thank you guys for watching for a moment here. But I will be right back. And then we're going to pop over onto Warframe. Thank you guys again. Just one moment, guys. Prehistoric. And we'll turn some music back on as well, guys. I am.